Hey guys, Rohan visited the Lido Fun Fair today and it was full of exciting games. But the game he found most exciting was called Lost in the Maze. He entered the maze. It had huge walls and many dead ends and it was both confusing and scary. But he put his mind to it and eventually made it out of the maze. Like the maze, even algebraic expressions require us to find the right combination of terms to completely factorize them. Let's see what that means. Let's factorize this expression. In our first attempt, we'll group both the perfect squares together in one group and the other two terms in another group. For the group of whole squares, we can apply the identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Hence, x squared minus y squared gets factorized to x plus y multiplied by x minus y. In the next group, we have only 8 as a common factor. Unfortunately, the expression does not have any common factor, so we cannot proceed. That's a dead end, like the ones Rohan met in the maze. Let's try a different approach now. Let's keep the first two terms together in one group and rearrange the remaining terms. Now from the first two terms, we can take x out as a common factor and from the last two terms, we can take the negative sign out as common. Look at the last two terms. Can they be expressed as a difference of perfect squares? Well, we can apply the identity, but the absence of a common factor leads us to yet another dead end that is no scope for further factorization. Okay, let's give it one last shot, shall we? The first term, x square, and the third term, 16, can be expressed as the squares of x and 4 respectively. And the term in the middle can be expressed as a product of 2, the term x, and the term 4. Wait, this is identical to the expansion of the identity a minus b the whole squared. On applying the identity, our expression becomes x minus 4 the whole squared minus y squared. Note that if we take x minus 4 as a single term, say a, and y as another term, b, then we can apply the identity as a squared minus b squared equals a plus b multiplied by a minus b. And there, we have successfully factorized the expression. So remember, you can make mistakes and it does help to prepare a plan of action before you start solving an expression. However, don't let a few mistakes stop you. Because if you keep trying, you will find your way out of the maze. Alright then, that's all for today. Keep practicing. Bye!